Danny's got the assessor assessing him now. Are you nervous, Danny? Just a bit. <laughs> My name's Alan Hart, and today we're installing a new boiler in Leeds. We're installing a new Wiesman Vitadens 050 combi boiler. I've got the apprentices back today. We've got Danny. Danny's back, and Danny's doing an assessment today. So I'll try and include some of that into this video if I can. Uh, I'll video what I can. And and I'll let you know sort of like what what he had to do for his assessment. Um, maybe maybe I'll tell you that at the end. Um, yeah. So what what we're doing with this job? We've got we've got a Baxi. It's a Baxi 105 super duper boiler. It's just just old now, and uh, customer wants to change it. So we're taking that out. There is a little bit of an issue. The boiler is sunk into the wall. And the wall has been built out afterwards, so it's had like um, insulation put on and plasterboard. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to build the wall out and um, bring the bo boiler further out. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go have a look. This video is for gas safe registered and trainee gas engineers under supervision. Please comply with the current regulations at the time. We're removing this Baxi 105 combi boiler. I'm just gonna alter some pipe work as well underneath, put some clips on it. We've also got a soil pipe here, so we're gonna connect into that as well for the condensate. So what we're doing now before we start? So before we um, put in new boiler in, we're gonna do um, a quick tightness test, um, show that there's no leakage. We're not doing a quick one, are we? We're just doing a tightness test. <laughs> what else we checking? Just checking for let by. Yeah, but we don't, we're also when we come to a meter, we're checking for certain things, aren't we? Yeah. What we're checking? To ensure that um, there's no damage to the meter. Valve falls off. So you, yes. So, you so check that there. To so ensure that the regulator's got the seal on. Yeah. Make sure the seal's on the regulator. And um, we've got um, our emergency contact details. Yep. And um, our electrical bonding, which is meant to be within the 600. But, yep. Um, can we see any bonding? No, well, we can do the bonding here, but it's not within the 600 on the pipe here, or within the first tee. Yeah, so let me just have a quick look in there a minute. So, there's, there's bonding now. Look. But as you say, it's not within the first 600. What size wire should that earth bonding be? I'm not sure um, what size it's meant to be, but um, I'll check my book. Yeah, so, so it should be 10, 10 millimetres. 10 millimetres, yeah. um, Unless, so sometimes, sometimes it used to be like 6 mil. Right. Um, but for, for us, it needs to be 10 millimetre. Between seven and ten, aren't we? Yeah. So you've done your let by for one minute between seven and ten, and now you're doing one minute stabilisation. Yep. So twenty millibar, and then you're going to do test for how long? Tightness for two minutes. Yep. Look who's back. Hey, Danny. Hello. How are we doing? Good. Have you got to say to your fans? We've had people asking for you, you know, on these videos. I'm glad to be back. Boiler would be sunk in wall, so we're just going to put some ply on, and we're going to bring boiler out of the wall. Alter pipes a little bit as well below. I thought you destroyed that drill. Is it working again? Working perfect. Magic. It, it smells a bit though, doesn't it, when you're using it? You've melted it, aren't you?
I'm just putting some freebie two behind here. Well, we're putting. I'm going to put a freebie two here, freebie two here. Same on this side, and I'm putting them full lengths like that. And then we're going to put the ply over the top. And the reason I'm putting them, oh, one of the reasons I'm putting them full length like that, is because it'll just be a bit stronger. I've also stuck them to the wall with some CT1 as well. What are you doing there then, Donny? Uh, going extra mile, yeah. <laughs> just painting behind it for customer. Making good. So Danny's just painted all that. Just going to go over it in a few minutes. I'm just going to have a cup of tea. You get mad at Danny. <laughs> Walking it down the aisle. Is it in hook? Mine's on. Yeah? I think so. Yeah, push yours in. Did you just have a look here and I'll, and I'll lift it? Are you happy? Lovely, thank you. If we mark the pipe, then once we press it, we know that it's not come out of the joint. What are you doing there then? Just taking off this. Um... So you've got an olive on there. Yeah, just using this tool to take it off. So that's an olive puller. So you're tightening that on. Just tighten this up. Yeah. Just twist this. You can also put that in ender drill, this bit. But we won't do it for this one. But yeah, just do it now. Good that in it. So very, very good too. Undo that apart now and just show them, show them what that is. There, and then in your around there, just show olive. So you just got your olive on there. What you got there? Using a laser level, proper job, eh? Proper stuff, Alan. Lining, lining, up. lining up this laser level here so I can get um, some holes in for the clips. Good man. Danny's just got the assessor here in this room now, just watching him connect the gas up to the boiler. He's also going to do the flue as well. And then he can pass his assessment off. How are you getting on with that flue? Great, thank you. Um, just putting a bit of cement around the opening. What's your name today? <laughs> Hello, man. Why are you doing this? What are you doing there then? So I'm just checking the distance between the floor and the flow terminal just to ensure that um, it's above two meters um, or two meters is here so basically we don't need a terminal guard Yeah that's it, so so if it's above two meters yeah. we don't need to put a terminal guard or a flue basket or whatever you want to call it on it Yeah. yeah. Danny's got the assessor assessing him now are you nervous, Danny? Just a bit. <laughs> Danny's installed the flue now, and I've checked it as well. It's been sealed, and we've just plastered the side of the boiler as well. These press fittings, the gas ones, have like a yellow label on them. Sometimes this wears off, so it's just something to be aware of. So as I say, this what that wee pipe, I've marked it. Yeah. I'm going to put this strap on boss on. First of all, I'm going to clean this up. So we've got some solvent cleaner. So I'm also going to clean all the connections that I'm going to use the solvent cement on. So again, we've just got the, the cleaner on some tissue. We'll just clean all these up. All connections. Put 
putting a salt and cement on. Just let that go off a little bit. And then just push them together. And if you've got any bits of cement on the outside there, just wipe it off. So it's nice and neat. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this with a hole saw. I'm going to connect this, this strap on boss. We're going to connect this onto there. So I'm just going to cut the hole out now with a hole saw. I'm just going to put some glue if you like or solvent cement down here and then also on your also on strap on as well This pipe's actually underground pipe. It's not really designed for this, but so we'll stick that on there. I'll put that on there, and then we've got a nut and a bolt that we're going to put in there if we can find it. There. Tighten that with nut and bolt, and then we'll wipe off any of this excess around it as well. Just flushing this now. I'll just show you. This is just a, a mains flush. It's the, the last flush, if you like. So what we've got there, got these valves fully open. So you're filling loop fully open. And you've got cold water going into here. And then we've got the boiler on full. So it's in a hot flush now. And you've got, so you've got the cold water going in, goes back to the boiler, and then the boiler heats it up, it comes out of there hot, goes around your system, and then back here, and then comes out of this valve here. So this valve here is warm, but the pipes here, cold does it pass no dirty water look yeah it's not good enough yet is it If we have a look at the water in this now, you can see there, it's clear. So this is one of these test tube things that shows you how clean your water is. Some people don't think they're very good, but I think they're a good indication. But we can see now it's clear is the water. And now what I'm gonna do now is, now we've cleared it all out, I'm gonna put some inhibitor in. So I'm gonna put some F1 in a better I'm gonna put it into this filter here and then after we've done that I'm gonna run it round for half an hour and then we're gonna test it with the AD Pro check and then the customer will have proof that the system was clean and also that it's been treated and like for the warranty of the boiler obviously I've videoed this as well so the customer's got total proof that it's been cleaned I'm just going to put some F1 inhibitor in, in this system now. Mm. 
these are quite good these these are little little bottles and the fit in the filter nice and easy and then we're going to run this round into the system and then as i've said already we're going to test it then with us ad pro check so we've put us inhibitor in the system now the boiler we're running it round for half an hour letting the inhibitor go round and now we're going to just test it with the ad pro check so i'll do that now and i'll show you how to do this test i have done a full video on this test but we'll, we'll have a look at it again now so i'm just going to take a little water sample now See that it's really clear a few bubbles on it because it's warm but now we're going to test that we're going to do a water test on that with this kit so we just do, uh, click on new install and then we click on next and then we click on combi boiler because we've installed a combi boiler filter so we, we've got a filter And then it tells you to take a water sample, which we've done. And then I'm just going to take a picture. And then it just asks you, it says clear or yellow. So it's clear. And then continue. And then it asks you to dip the strip. So if we just take the lid off this. And then if we just dip the strip in here. And then just dry that off for 60 seconds and then what we do then we put this onto this chart here so now you just take a picture zoom in and it takes a picture of the card actually it takes three pictures and then on this now it says insufficient inhibitor detected Corrosion pass and pH pass. So what we'll do now, we'll put some more inhibitor into the system. So it passed the first test apart from it said that there wasn't enough inhibitor. We'd already added a bottle in. So we've just added another bottle in and now we're gonna test it again. Um, so just go through the same thing again. And now we're just going to take another picture. It takes three pictures. And this time it says pass. So it says pass for inhibitor, pass for corrosion and pass for pH. So we've got a full pass result for customer. I'm not sure why it failed the first time. Maybe there wasn't quite enough inhibitor in them little bottles. Um, it's passed now anyway, so that's what that's the important thing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to email this result to the customer. So the customer knows, and it'll be date and time. They also have a picture of the test result as well, the bottle. So it'll be date and timed, um, so they know that when the boiler was installed, it was installed correctly, flushed correctly. And they've got proof as well for future. Can you tell us how to put this into service mode then now? Well, from what I know, you press mode. Yeah. Scroll down to service. Yeah, do it. So press mode. Press mode. Yeah. Scroll down to service. So for service is flashing then. Go there we go. Yeah. Okay. Click OK. Yeah. And then we can adjust. So it's on 100%. So 100 that's on high. High, yeah. So you want to. If you want to put it on low. So just go just down, go to, down 20. to 20. Should I do that? Yeah. Go down 20, okay. That's okay. Yeah, press it again. Right, so that's on low now. So put it back into high then now. So go to mode. Yeah. Go down to service. Yeah. And when the service is flashing. Yeah. Press okay. Yeah. And then take it to 100. Yeah. Okay. And then okay again. Okay again. That's it. So when would you need that? What, what service mode for? Um, for checking your gas weight. Yeah, and also when we're doing a flue gas analyzer as well for high and low. Okay. And also if you're going to come and do a service as well. Okay. 
All right, yeah, Absolutely great, thank you. Danny did really well. Danny passed. What did he need to do? So he needed to show that he could install a boiler from start to finish. So he had to do the flue, he had to connect the gas up, he had to gas rate it, he had to um, test it all at meter, do a tightness test. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it really. And he, he did really, really well. Um, and good luck to Danny. I wish him, wish him well for the future. Um, if you've got any comments, please add them below. He's a really good lad, he's Danny. So if anybody's looking for somebody, then please give us a shout. Danny, Danny will be looking for a job shortly. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go over to gas meter. I'm going to recap on the gas meter, what we need to be looking for on a gas meter. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to answer some of the questions that we've got. So I've had some questions. I put a picture on, on YouTube and I've had some questions. So I'm going to answer some of them questions as well. And then after that, I've got a few... Um, a few dodgy installs as well that I'm going to show you. So yeah, let's have a look at this gas meter. So just a little recap on this meter, on off. I've just put some more tape on there because that's a little bit awkward to see on there. So we've got this on off tape. We need to check the regulator, make sure the seal's on. We need to make sure the meter is secure. We need to make sure it's got a label and a phone number. And we also need to check earth bonding. And it needs to be 10 millimeter earth. And it also needs to be within the first 600 millimeter of that pipe work there, or before the first T. One of the questions that's been asked is how close can you put a wire to a gas pipe? Now I see this quite a lot when people share the pictures online and you see the wires going behind the pipes. Now an electrical wire needs to be minimum of 25 millimeters away from a gas pipe. The electrician also told me that that's the same for water pipes as well. I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, so you'd have to check up on that, but definitely for gas pipes, if you've got the wires running down the back of the pipes, then that wouldn't that wouldn't be that wouldn't comply. So if you can try and route your wires away from your gas pipes. Um, I've got a few questions on here. Um, one of them is about portfolio. Um, can I show? Can I go over what you do on a portfolio? Um, we will do that. I'm going to do a video about that um, later on. Um, I'll be doing that with Viva, Viva Training Academy. Um, somebody's asked for a quote on here. Um, to be honest, at the moment, I probably wouldn't have any time to install anybody a new boiler. Uh, I'm really busy at the minute. Um, somebody's asked about landlord safety checks. We're actually doing some landlord checks tomorrow. Uh, if I get chance, if, if it's... Um, it, it, I'll try and do a video on them if I can, but obviously it'll depend on the customers, the property, and you know if we can video there as well. Um, yeah, um, what I'll do now, we'll go over to these. I've just got a few videos from subscribers, so I'll show you these. So this is this has been sent in from a subscriber. It's just showing there that the gas is not sleeved, so a good one for. The trainees and then also it's just showing the pipe work and how it's all scorched so again a good one for trainees just to show to use your heat mats when you're soldering and this one's just showing us that no clips so there's no clips on gas and also it's got push fit pipe connected directly onto the boiler as well <laughs> 